as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle teeter over the edge of their one-year anniversary, which is presently being celebrated with a lavish holiday in Africa, engagement rumors between the two are reaching fever pitch. All signs are pointing to a matrimonial conclusion for the couple and the fact that they're vacationing in the very same place that Prince William proposed to the then Kate Middleton isn't doing much to douse the flames. And whilst the legal specifics are out of the way, yes, they can get married there aren't any standing rules against a royal prince marrying a Catholic divorcee, if you were wondering, the more exciting details are yet to be revealed. Where will he do it? How will he do it? And, most importantly, with which ring will he do it? For the prince, there are several engagement ring options on the table, but it is most likely that he will choose a vintage ring from his family's vaults for Markle. Being a prince, Harry has a plethora of behind-the-scenes options for rings he could choose to have another jewelry piece, like a brooch or a set of earrings, broken down and reset as a ring, or he could choose a lesser-known ring from deep within the vaults. Although it is perfectly likely that Harry could choose to buck tradition and buy Markle a brand new ring to mark the occasion, most royal watchers are agreeing that the prince will probably choose something with familial significance, echoing his brother's choice for Kate Middleton as well as Prince Philip's engagement ring for Queen Elizabeth, her three-carat solitaire diamond ring was fashioned out of stones from Prince Philip's mother's tiara, and Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, Prince Charles gave her a ring that belonged to the Queen Mother. But, as the fun is all in the speculating, we've selected five ring options that Harry could use to propose to Markle with the Queen Mother's engagement ring. When the Duke of York, later King George VI, proposed to Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, later the Queen Mother, he did so with a large oval-shaped sapphire, flanked by two diamond baguettes. When Elizabeth became Queen Consort, she switched out her sapphire ring for a large pearl ring with diamonds, and then the sapphire was committed to the vault. It passed to the current Queen Elizabeth in 2002, when the Queen Mother passed away. Royal watchers have speculated that this could be the ring Harry chooses to give to Meghan. It's not in current use, so he wouldn't be taking it away from anyone, but it still has a strong familial significance. The choice of sapphire would also echo his father and brother's preferences, as well, the Queen's sapphire cluster ring. A ring quite similar to Diana and Kate's engagement ring, the Queen's sapphire cluster ring would be a nice choice for Meghan. Although it is still regularly worn by the Queen, it's not one of her more significant choices so we think she'd be content to pass it on. The ring was given to the Queen by her father, King George, in the modern sapphire set, which included three necklaces, earrings, a bracelet and three rings. Princess Diana's Aquamarine Ring Of the five options, Princess Diana's Aquamarine Ring is the only one not to belong to the royal vault. The ring belonged to Diana, and still does, meaning that Harry wouldn't have to borrow it from the Queen. It is unknown where Diana acquired the ring, but it is speculated that it was a gift. However, being an aquamarine might disqualify it from the running. Harry might prefer to stick with a precious stone, rather than a gemstone. The Queen's Sapphire Diamond-Shaped Ring Another sapphire ring from the Queen's modern sapphire set, the diamond-shaped ring has a slightly more Art Deco feel to it, making a modern choice for Meghan. The Queen occasionally wears this in rotation with her other rings, so it would still be a significant gift, and it is more distinctive and different from Kate's halo style. The Art Deco Emerald Choker Reports have speculated that Harry might choose to have an emerald taken from his mother's Art Deco Emerald Choker, which she often wore as a tiara, to be made into an engagement ring. The tiara Choker was created by Queen Mary of Tech from Cabricon Emeralds and Platinum around 1910 and was then a lifetime loan from the Queen to Princess Diana. However, since the princess passing, the choker has frequently been on display at Buckingham Palace, so it might be a bit conspicuous if it were to go wandering one day and return missing its center stone. Which is your bet?